video. Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. I just run back into the apartment because we've got the camera and I can't vlog if we've got no camera. So I thought it was worth it. So everyone's waiting for me in the car. We're going to go Paris. Trying to learn how to work this. It's like Fort Knox in here. Just heading out into Paris on the train. This is Marcus and I are going to go up on our road this time because today's Monday and obviously so my cousin's kids are in school etc. So yeah, we're just going to go on our own. Yeah, Marcus and I can quickly catch the train and head into Paris because we've only got a couple of hours today and then we're flying back. So, we want to make the most of it. We did get up at a decent time today, but like getting ready, getting breakfast, everything took longer than expected. Yeah, it's about half 12 now. So hopefully we can get into Paris for about one. Central Paris, turn on the train, train times, etc. And whether we get robbed or not at the train station. So get, get shut. And that's going to be it, hopefully. Let's see a couple of sites. See if we can get into the Louvre if we have time. It's just a bit of a time game at the minute. So we'll update you, see how we get on. What I could be. We, oh, okay. Ma okay, let me tell you the truth about this trip, right? Marcus is the most useless human being ever. So, just because you've got a cousin that you can bell up on yourself. Shut sure up. Right. No, no, this guy. Back to my bear grills. I'm not, I'm not like a, Right, he literally doesn't know anything. And when I say he doesn't know anything, I genuinely mean that he knows F all. Like, I'm like, Marcus, we need this. I'll tell you what train we need to get off. We catch this train. I'm like, checking everything. He just like stood there. You're saying that you're checking everything. Your cousin. No. Told you what you need to do. You called your cousin saying, yes. "What's well, getting off?" And that's you checking everything. No, that's not true. Right? He's trying to make out like this, less than what it was, but it's more than that. All right, you're useless. Anyways, we finally made it. We thought we were gonna get rolled on like the train station because it's in like a bit of a dingy area that one. And we with my fake friend who knew the bloody fake Louis Vuitton bag strapped to chest. I really make people think we've got something to hide. There was a chance of that, but we made it nonetheless. And now we're gonna try and find some spots to get some nice pictures, explore. See Wagwan. And then go home and see the cats. Yeah. Do you remember when you said Wagwan? Wagwan. Well, that's what people still say that in the UK. I said that in the vlog yesterday. Really? Oh, and it's funny that we'll bust around going Wagwan. Well, and they're like, Bonsoir. Bonsoir. <laughs> Sounds so much like, nicer, is not it? In Paris, like, Bonsoir. Bonsoir. We're like, that's sick. And they're like, Magnifique. <laughs> Marcus brought me to the Love Lock Bridge. I think he might propose. I'm just out here. Forget the romance, trying to find Courtney Kardashian's um, lock. Because <laughs> one of the Kim Kardashians came and did that, but to be fair, I think that was an like old bridge. I think they took the locks down for that. Look at it. So nice. Trying to find our way back to the Louvre. Just around that area because it's really gross. I think we're too far from the airport tower, although we can see it. It's still quite far. But Marcus has been a little bit pessimistic, saying so we can't make it on time. My dad just speaks to you with like my mouth like that and drooling. <laughs> how cute these locks are, you guys. I wonder how many of these couples are still together <laughs> and how many are divorced <laughs> or split up. Hey, so well, guys, it is Thursday today, and we got back from Paris on Monday. So you will have seen all of the Paris footage by now. We didn't, we, Marcus and I explored a lot on the last day, but we didn't vlog. We had so many issues with like getting lost with like train on transport and stuff. So it got a little bit stressful towards the end, uh, getting to the airport and the airport food was rubbish and this and that, that we just, yeah, we gave up on the vlogging aspect. <laughs> two lovely girls, well I didn't meet them. I saw two lovely girls on the plane who sat in front of us on the way back from Paris. Then afterwards, um, the one of them had messaged me saying that she wanted to say hi. But you guys, if you ever see me, just feel free to say hi. <laughs> I'm not, honest, I'm probably, I t probably talk too much if you meet me, but that's about it. I'm not like scary or anything, so. I'm tired. I feel like I'm getting ill. There's like a bug going around. <coughs> and that, that was on cue. But my, yeah, my, my chest is getting a little bit tight and stuff. So I wanted to be at home, but Marcus, there's like some markets on, some Christmas markets that we were going to go last time. It should be on today uh, with ice skating and stuff. So we were just going to go on our own and then Marcus had the bright idea to invite my sisters. And whenever you involve my family, you involve some headache as well because some, for some reason it's hard to organise. Yeah, it was nice when we got back. The following day we like just got a Domino's and caught up on like Amma Celeb and stuff. 
But do we feel I'm kind of falling out of love with that a little bit? We have it on in the background, but I'm not really paying attention to it. And we're like a couple of episodes behind, so every day I see who's been kicked out before we've actually seen it, so it kind of spoils it a little bit. Look, look at this snack. Look at this snack called Marcus. Wait, look at it. Wait, can you see it? Look at it. Just stood oh, he's so handsome, Marcus. A handsome little thing. I'm just off to manage my football team. <laughs> Oh my god, turn the lights off. <laughs> oh, we had an argument by the way today because he shouted at me for leaving the bedroom light on all day. Not on purpose. Ah. Oh, you not leave that one on. Then it looks like we're at home. Security system, Marcus. You want us to get robbed? Marcus! Not really done our research. <laughs> so we've not really done our research, right? We've driven past this um, garden centre for the last light. Was it, uh, to be fair, since before we went on holiday and it said oh christmas thingy ice skating rah, 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 rah. we got here there's a few cars and there's absolutely nothing exciting going on these lights made it seem like there was a lot going on but from what we can see it's quite dead Glass that we literally walked straight back out, told my sisters to not bother coming, and we're gonna go now and get some food. Run home, go to the water again. Just Karen, she's gonna ask what we're doing for food now. Hello. <laughs> we're getting this. Yeah, I need to look for vapor of you guys because I'm getting a really bad chest. But we can't find the one we've got at home. Do you remember that? Bazooka, your Baruka, <laughs> the advert. <laughs> this is what a very sad fan looks like. <laughs> Look at what are we going to do, Marcus? We don't know what to eat and we've been stood in this Tesco for like an hour trying to decide what we're going to get for food and we're so stuck. This, this is what I mean, I hate, hate prepping meals. We have no idea what we want to eat ever. Right, I have some white like, hornby with like a garlic naan. Yeah, and I'd make it here, but meat shops are closed now, Marcus. A bit late. We remembered we've got some corn mints in the freezer. So last time I made like this mint, almost like a handy like curry thing with like red chilies and stuff, really nice with some white rice. So I was like, why not I just make that? This is a rare sight these days. What? Are you kidding? No, you're not actually. I know. I've not been cooking a lot. People before. are doing a Christmas buffet at work, or they're doing a Christmas buffet at work. The 12th, I think. Yeah. And I need to take food in, so we're going to make biryani. What are you at? Well, my mum can't biryani for your Christmas day. Do you reckon? I reckon she'll tell you to piss off. Do you reckon? Yeah. Why? Well, I'm sure, but like, you can ask her. But mine's on the 13th. And I was just planning on taking in like ready-made cheese and onion pasties and stuff. No, so. I'm taking in Asian food. You make me look like a right idiot. Why am I going to make you look like an idiot? People aren't going to see me in your work, are they? In what way? Well, what way are you in? Yeah, but like I'm going to feel like an idiot. Well, you are an idiot. They don't need to know that. Right, but I've already told them now that I'm doing it. So. Are you actually? Yeah. Why'd you open your big gob before, like? I'm trying to make friends at work. All right. Are you going to see for Santa? Yeah, a well difficult one as well. Who have you got? Just a this. Manager. No, no, no. The roti's not round. Your onion's not chopped. <laughs> you can't make biryani. You can't. You make biryani. can't. You know I can make biryani. My mum said it wasn't that good. No, your mum said that it didn't have enough salt in it. That was it. I think you should be polite. My biryani's better than most people's. I nearly said your mum's. Then that would have been a very dangerous game to play. Yeah, I know because I'm sure with this. No, you wouldn't. To be fair. Like taking advantage a little bit. Right, I'll take her a Tupperware back. We welcomed you into our family, into our homes, and all you want from us is food, whether it's the daughter, whether it's the ones we love. You want our cheese and onion pasties. Eh, what is there? You want our cheese and onion pasties. What? So you're taking into work, where do you think they come from? I bet you they're not even British. In fact, medieval French, so. <clears throat> French people are white. Eh? Not British. And excuse my cousins are French and they're Pakistani. Yeah, right. So there's a handful. And that handful's related to me. <laughs> there we go, guys. It's starting to look a little bit better. So, oh, I love adding chilies. And I usually add green chilies too, but I just 
did not then give me to all the around testicles. So if there's anyone that's ended up asking me how I make that, it's really simple and it's a, a cheat way. So all I do, onions, garlic, just a few onions, a couple of cloves of garlic, mash it up, fry it, obviously get them into tiny pieces, add some salt, and then I just basically use them ghee my packet mixers for just something as simple as this as well. Um, I'm not sure which one it is that I use. Just the Lizzie's the one. Put a bit of the mix in whilst onions are getting done and then when you add the corn or the mince then add the rest in obviously like add water and stuff depending on how like curry fried i think you want it and then i add the chilies um not when it's done but like when it's going to be done soon just so they do cook in there a little bit i think i'm gonna add some more chilies in there and when it is because that's not enough and then when it is almost done um i'm gonna cut up my coriander and chuck loads of coriander in there and then that should be it and it's getting pretty late now what time is it marcus it's 20 past eight 20 past eight why is the time gone? we've not even eight 20 past eight and we've not even eight and the house is a tip and i've got a feeling i'm gonna get too lazy after i've eaten to clean it but i know i need to if i don't do it now then i have to tomorrow and i don't want to ruin my friday so i've just finished cooking this is the end result i don't know if you can see that but that's the mint well corn and the rice you like it, Marcus? Yeah. Do you actually? Magnifique. Magnifique. <laughs> Not letting that go then, yeah? See, so, yeah, I was watching I'm a Celeb and then I'm going to try to pick up the courage. Oh, try to pick up the courage to clean and then probably going to try and have like a shower and stuff before bed. So there's no point continuing this vlog. I don't know how long it is. Like I said, if we do daily vlogs, they're not going to be that long. So anyways, hope you enjoyed all our mishaps and lockdown our misfortune. And hopefully we'll see you for the next one. See ya.